I'm going to show you how to make a hedgehog calf. Now this is one of my hedgehog houses. It's big enough for a hedgehog to sleep in and maybe raise its young in. It's not quite big enough to put food in. Once you put a food bowl in there of water or cat, wet cat food, there's not much room for the hog. So these are best left as a home for the hedgehog. Put them somewhere in a hedge like this one was and put a bowl of water outside them. But it's very good to feed your hedgehogs and wet and dry cat food's good. Um, or some cat food there that I use for the hedgehogs. You can buy proper hedgehog food. I bought this tub from Homebase. It cost me £14. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a 13 centimetre square hole in one end. That is the side of a CD case. Not many people know what CDs are anymore, but 13 centimetres square. So here we go. And take your time cutting it because you can end up cracking the plastic. So there's my cutout. And I'll put that in a recycling bin because this plastic is recyclable. Then what you need to do is with a bit of sandpaper, just make sure all the edges are nice and smooth. Now this is generating microplastic, so have a little sweep up after. Now these edges I've done on this cut and I've sanded them are smooth. If you've done it and the edges are a bit sharp, use a bit of tape, like this duct tape, and just line the edges with it, because we don't want the hog getting the spikes stuck on it. But I don't need to do this in this case, because that is lovely and smooth, and, and the hog's not going to cut itself or injure itself or get stuck. And that's it. It's as simple as that. It's a box with a hole in. Now I'm going to show you what we put inside. Okay, so what I've got now, shift it, Kaikoura, dog out of the way. So I've got... Um, two bowls and some food so in one bowl we'll put some of this cat food and I'm going to put some of this hedgehog food in that goes in there water you got to put some water in there and I've got some grass and stuff in the garden I'm just going to chuck that in there as well so there's there's my um, grass some food and some water I'll put them away from the hole in the corner and in here I've got some screwed up newspaper as well chuck some of that in there and if you've got any dried leaves anything like that would be good and in here I've got I've got a hedgehog that I rescued earlier from a building site it falling down a, it being in a trench over the weekend and I'm just going to put this particular hedgehog in here because I'm doing a release project at the moment. Tuck her in there and what's going to happen is that hedgehog is going to have a bit of food, a bit of drink and, it, and it's going to head off and it will probably come back to be honest. And you need to put it somewhere where it's not going to get disturbed, somewhere quiet and dry where it's not going to get disturbed. And on the lid you need to put a bit of a weight just to hold that lid down. And this hedgehog calf I'm going to keep it underneath this planter. Holds that end. I'm just going to stick it under there and I'm going to put a bit of a cover over it. And then every day I'm going to come out, just pop the lid off and just check the food and water's okay. And it's as simple as that. You don't have to have them underneath something. This is just a good little tucked away place that I use. So get yourself a hedgehog cafe. Cheers.